going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. Today we got these 1994 Chicago ones. This is a shoe that I've been looking for for a really long time. I'm glad that I found these for a great price. Believe it or not, this is the first shoe I ever tried to restore. The biggest problem with these shoes is the soles. The heel drag on these are insane. We're gonna have to go in and give the shoe a brand new sole and do some work on the uppers. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get started. First things first, we're gonna take out our shoelaces and insole. I'm not exactly sure if these are original shoelaces from the 94 Chicago's, gonna have to do some research. Change of plans, we're not taking out the insole, it's glued in place. We're just gonna have to scrub harder during the cleaning process. And the next step we gotta do is get rid of these old soles. They're trash, they're just at this point in the way. So we're gonna be using an X-Acto knife to remove all the old stitching. The glue is fully dried out, so once I get rid of the stitching, it's gonna come right off. Got the old soles completely removed off both shoes. Now we gotta remove the old glue using a Dremel. Sanding is complete. Now before we move on to acetone and complete the prep job, we're gonna put these to the side and move on to our donors. As always, all the shoes, including the donors I use, are 100% authentic. We're gonna start off by removing the stitching off the sole. We will be saving it because it will be going on the 94s. For this, we'll be using a pick. apart these shoes. We're gonna go to the sink using some acetone. We're gonna put it inside the shoes, let it sit for a little while. We're gonna do this a couple times. Once it's ready, we'll go in and peel it apart. While we let that sit, we're gonna take care of the prep work on the shoe. We'll be using acetone and cotton balls. Got the donor soles ready to go. Now they look too brand new for the uppers. We gotta age them so they can match. So for this, we'll be using the coffee method. We're gonna put coffee inside the hot water. Then we're gonna put them inside for a few hours. When we take them out, it should have a nice yellow tint. And lastly, the stitching. While we let the soles marinate in coffee, we're gonna take care of the deep clean on the uppers. Today we'll be using our essential shoe cleaning kit that comes with all three brushes, solution, and towel. Today we'll also be using our brush from the Sway kit so we can get deep in the inside of the shoe during the cleaning process. First things first, we're gonna grab our solution and square two squirts inside our bowl of water. 
The first areas we're going to take care of on these sneakers are the insides of the shoes. We're going to start off by using our sway brush and our saw bristle. Insides are taken care of. Now we're gonna grab our shoe trees, adjust them to the size and put them inside the sneaker. This is gonna help us reshape the overall shape of the shoe. Now, for this part, we're gonna continue using the soft bristle brush all around the uppers, including the tongues. So far so good you guys, the shoe is cleaning up really good. Now we're going to move on to our medium bristle brush to finish taking care of the leather. Cleaning is complete, now we're going to put these outside so they can dry for a few hours. Now we're on to the tougher part of this restoration, the gluing. This is something I've done in the past, but this one's gonna be a little tricky. So we got the pro in. What's up, Sal? Welcome What's up, back. Dude? Thank you for having me back, man. I'm ready to get these on feet again. Hell yeah, dude. So for this project, in my opinion, it's a little tricky. We got our donor sole and the 94 upper. It fits, but not really. It's not yeah. flush, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So what do you think we should do to get it to fit properly? Basically, so it all comes back to how the shoe was made. So the older ones were a little bit thicker in the toe box more so than um, the, the most recent, recent ones that these came off of. So first things we gotta do is of course, dremel the crap out of these midsoles. We gotta make sure, if you put them on, they sit up extremely high, way right. too high. You're, you're not gonna be able to finesse that no matter who you are. Yeah, that looks terrible right so now. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with sanding this down basically almost to the rubber. We will just throw some more comfortable insoles For in there, sure. but we do have to sacrifice this foam in here. I mean, this part is pretty thick, it's so really that makes thick. sense. Yeah. Cause I mean, it's probably only about not even half an inch where we got it, uh, got a sand, but it's still pretty a lot for this. Uh, but the big part is really finessing this toe cap. That's when we got to go in and, and kind of modify this last and um, kind of slim the toe cap a little bit. It's not really going to change the fit that much. It's yeah. more so going to fit like the newer ones, which is normal for all of us. But that's how you finesse these, uh, these 94s. Interesting. So I guess that's part two of this whole process. I guess yeah. the first step is to do a lot of dremeling on this back area. Yes, this all, for right? sure, yeah. Cool, let's get going with that. All right, let's go. Good at cleaning all this, all this sanding stuff off. I got you, bro. Two it is. Got the soles fully prepped. We did a lot of shaving on the inside. We created a blizzard here in Arizona. We should have honestly worn some masks, but me and Sal wanted to talk through the process. So far, so good. Now we're on to part two of the prep work. What's next, Al? Yeah, so the next part basically is like we said earlier, we gotta go in here and kind of trim off some of this last so that way we can kind of pinch the, the leather and conform it to the midsole a little bit. Again, don't be don't be scared because this ain't gonna make it feel tight or change the size or anything like that. It's just because these, these 94s were made a little bit thicker back then compared to how these are now. So we just gotta do a little bit of finesse and it's like literally millimeters that we're gonna take off this, this uh, last and put onto the uppers. 
Simpler terms, this is called finesse. Finesse. Cut it right here. A little slice and then just yeah. kind of fold it over. Yeah, and then it kind of just closes instead of like this. Exactly. So you won't feel it. And it creates a tighter. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's what we'll do instead of cutting here. And it'll sit more like that yep. compared to this. What's it called? Experience. <laughs> <laughs> Good to go with the finesse. Now we're gonna hit the uppers one more time using the Dremel. The idea is to get the leather pretty roughed up so it adheres better to the sole. One more thing we gotta do before we start gluing the soles and the uppers, we gotta hit the soles with some acetone and cotton balls. Hella tiny. A small ass bottle. <laughs> no, they got him, boss. Boss. <laughs> All right, Vic, so we just did the acetone part. Now we get to get to the fun part, which is applying that glue. So I'm gonna attack the uppers with this angular brush and do it by freehand. I don't trust tape on this leather. It might rip it off. While I do that, you can go ahead and tackle the, the outsole and then we'll get these clamped together once we're done. Sounds good. I don't know about fun part, but sounds good. <laughs> Glue has been applied to the uppers and soles. We let it sit for a good hour. It's fully cured. Now we're on to the fun stuff, bonding it together. But we're gonna let Sal do his part. What do you got for us? What kind of technique is this? Basically with this one, with the way that it's, it's shaped and uh, how this toe box is a little slanted, I'm gonna start off with doing the toe first, just so that way I know that the fitment's good. And you know, I don't wanna do the, the heel first and the, the front's a little bit harder. In my opinion, it's easier to do the toe first then the heel, just like we did in the Jasons and the Concords. That's right. And then do the sides and the heat of the inside to do the last and then we'll be done. Now what's the technique for this little piece right here, right? No, you oh, bench. that piece? That piece right there, we're gonna just reach into the shoe, push it in with my finger, and just pinch it in so that way we can get the proper fitment rather than it sticking out too much. Sounds easy enough. Ready? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Sal. Thanks, Vic. <laughs> Dude, once again, you did a killer job with this swap, bro. Everything aligns perfectly, and that little finesse you did worked out nice. Yeah, I think I think they came out pretty good. Like we were saying earlier, man, they're pretty freaking beat. They are beat. So I think for what they were, they look a lot better now, especially with this age midsole you did. Yes, sir. I think it's gonna look fire once you wrap it up with the stitching. That's right. You saved me a bunch of time, and the cool thing is I learned a couple more tricks from you. Got you, man. Now, before I send you off, bro, got something for you. My two brushes. <laughs> and your two brushes. Yeah. Inside the executive kit, you got everything you need for Reup. Rejuvenator.com, guys. Make sure you hit the site. That's right. Later, bro. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you, big. Thank you again, man. Once again, Sal did a great job with the gluing. We let it sit over the weekend so it can fully dry. Now we're on to applying our stitching using the sewing gong. We went ahead and aged the stitching with the soles when we did the coffee method. We got our stitching from the inside and the outside. We got our outside thread and our inside thread. Let's get to it.
Sole swap is complete. We're good with the gluing and the stitching. Now we're on to the uppers. For the uppers, we gotta take care of the toe boxes. They're pretty creased up and we gotta get it back to its original shape. So for this, we'll be using the iron method. We're gonna start off by stuffing the toe boxes with some towels, placing a wet rag over the toe box and then simply ironing it out very carefully. Once that's done, we'll take out the towels and put some shoe trees in to keep its new form. We're almost done with this restoration. What's truly really left is the paint job. I'm not trying to make this shoe look brand new with a brand new paint job. Again, the shoe is heavily worn, even though it has a brand new sole. As you can see on the uppers, there's a lot of heavy creasing going on in this back area. Overall, the shoe just has a lot of wear and tear that I can reverse. So with that being said, when I paint this shoe, I'm just gonna only paint the red. The white, I'm gonna leave as is. I like how it looks. For example, over here, there's a lot of red paint missing in this area. We're gonna sand it down and then go in with an airbrush, touch it up. We'll basically do that throughout the entire red. The white will leave as is, same thing with the black. Prep is complete. Now we're gonna be taping and painting as we go. Basically what I'm gonna do is touch up the paint using the airbrush. Red paint job is complete. It was honestly really easy to go in and just touch it up. Now the last step we gotta do is lace it up with some Fox Shaw Uniform Oatmeal Laces. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on these lost and found Air Jordan 1 restoration. Just kidding, I know these are 94s, but they kind of have that vibe with a little bit more wear and tear. Overall, this restoration has turned out great. The biggest thing we did here was completely give it a brand new sole. Over here, we got the original ones, super beat up. The worst thing about them is this back piece. Look at how crazy that heel drag is. Now on the new ones, no issue. There was no grip on the original outsole. Heel drag was crazy, no stars in the front. Now we got a brand new outsole to work with you guys. On the original outsole, there is no grip. We have super heel drag and there is no stars up in the front. Now going back to the 94s, we got a brand new outsole to wear. I also went ahead and used a coffee method on this part. I aged it just a little bit, nothing overboard. I wanted to match the tongue and the laces. After that, we had to glue the brand new soles onto the uppers. For this, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Sal. He came through and made this process so much easier and I learned a few new tricks. If you guys have any reglues, hit that guy up. Now for the uppers, I kept it very subtle. I didn't wanna go overboard. Like I mentioned, there is a lot of creasing throughout the entire sneaker. I didn't wanna go in and paint the entire sneaker cause it just wouldn't look right. I left the white as is. There's cracking going on. I like the look. For the red, I did touch it up just to make it pop a bit more. For the black, same thing, I left it as is. For the Wings logo, luckily it was in good condition so we didn't have to touch that up. The biggest thing also, these shoes were completely disgusting. I strongly believe the shoe was never clean. I spent a lot of time cleaning the shoe from the inside out. Got rid of all the grime using Rashuminator products. You can find that stuff at Rashuminator.com. Use my promo code down below to save some money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys. Catch you guys next Monday. See you guys. Yeah.
Ah, Skype. <laughs>